Greetings folks, this little box is the Sonic model F1 FPV wing. Sonic model make great wings. Uh, I have also the Sonic model AR wing uh, that's EPP, a really nice flying, uh, smooth, controllable FPV wing. And there's the Sonic Model HD wing, which is a uh, fast, smooth, another great FPV wing with a detachable front, which you can put a clear dome on the front if you want to. Both of them are superior flying wings. So it'll be interesting to see how the F1 stacks up. It's um, really nicely packed up in this sturdy box. Sheet of stickers, a uh, little bit of a expanded diagram, CG, CG 105 millimetres from the leading edge. Nice little wings. Servo's already mounted with a nice little servo um, cover there, which is a, a good touch. Uh, Moulded in wingtips. Nice sturdy square carbon fibre tube. That's all in the box. And we have just the centre pod there, canopy, prop and prop adapter. Motor's already mounted, that's a 2216 2000 kV race star motor. 40 amp ESC, already has XT60 plug, which is great. Plywood uh, wing retaining bits, plastic skid on the bottom, and we've got the uh, nose cover there, battery, uh, it's just friction mounted. Room for an FPV camera in the front there. Canopy is magnet mounted there, that holds in really nicely. So we have a spar running along here and along the leading edge too, so that, that is very nice and stiff. Control horns are nice and secure. So we just have to poke the servo lead through there, push the wing in, got a nice CG mark there and a little screw hole there to retain the wing. And that's the assembly, really. I don't know what that little, little ring is for yet. I wonder if that fits in there. Fits nicely in there, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Don't know. That wing is not going anywhere. This is a very, very simple assembly. Nice and stiff. All right, all we need is a receiver. Actually, we can test the servos. Servos sound nice. Seem to have about 15 to 20 millimetres up and down throws. We'll see how that works. Prop just fits on without needing an adapter, which is nice. Normally threaded nut. Pretty well ready to fly. Oh. 
All right, time to pop a battery in there. According to the sheet, it says it can operate on 3S or 4S. Uh, 1800 to 2200. I've got a 4S 1800 in there, right up towards the front. And that is balancing pretty well on the CG marks. So if you put a camera up in the nose, you can move the battery back. There's plenty of space for uh, variable position. That's really good. Haven't got a receiver in there yet, but that's not going to add any weight at all, really. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's see how much it weighs. So that is... So that's about 630 grams balanced with a 1800 4S. It'll be exactly the same for a 2200 3S because they're pretty much exactly the same size. It's looking really nice. It's a nice slim wing, so it's going to be fast. The frontal area of the nose, uh, well, it's reasonably big, but uh, it just feels like it's going to be a fast wing to me. So, All right, so let's take it out and put it through its paces. Oh, it's a beautiful day. No wind. Sun's out. I have a GPS sensor here so I can clock the speed. Uh, 1800 4S battery. Make sure all my throws are going the right way. I've just got 100% throws on everything. 30% expo. Set the EEC brake as well. Uh, so we've got going to trim it up a little bit. Whee! Bit too much throws. Need a bit more nose weight, maybe. All right, trying again. Rates on 75, Expo on 50 now. That's nice and smooth now. Wow, it's fast. Slowing it down a bit. Still have rates too high. I'm going up a bit, so I'll trim it level. Now we're flying nicely. Still even a little bit too much throw, so I'll bring it in. Jeez, it's going to need a lot of... Stay away from the dogs. God, this is fast. Gliding in from all the way back there. Wee -hee. Very, very fast. I'm going to turn the rates down even further to 50, maybe. So I've hit 113 kilometres now without even <laughs> cranking it up. Oh, this is going to be frightening. Let's go again. All right, 50% rates, 50% expo. Try some full speed runs. Need to get a bit more height. This is so fast. It's a bit of a handful and it's small and easy to lose. It'd be better on FPV, but uh, let's try a full speed run coming back. Hundred and forty six kilometers an hour. One hundred and forty six kilometers per hour, fourteen volts. 
146 kilometers an hour. I'm just being a bit careful. Motor's cut out. ESC is cut out. I wonder if I'm drawing too much current. Why is my battery 14 volts? Let's land it and find out what's going on. 46 kilometers per hour, 15 volts. 15 volts. So I got up to 146 kilometers an hour. Battery's down to 15 volts already, so I'm going to try a new battery and have another go. It's, uh, it's a bit scary at full speed because it's so small. Well, it's a wicked little wing. I ripped a wingtip off on that rough landing. It does land very fast. Uh, I'm actually landing downwind, I realise too. The wind's just popped up. That'll be the reason. Should have been landing the other way. So this is the fastest little wing I own. Desperately needs to be on FPV so that you can see where you're going because it gets out of view pretty quickly. So far I've only used it line of sight and it's <laughs> I think it's, it's too fast for line of sight. Definitely an FPV race wing. Awesome little wing. Not very relaxing. <laughs> so that's the Sonic Model F1 wing from Banggood. Thanks for watching.